Took about a week off from uh, building the Bronco and uh, now I'm excited to get back to it. So let's get on it and uh, pick up where we left off. Real quick guys, this channel is still about style. That's why it's Stylish Grease Monkey, but there are parts in which I will share with you what I do as a grease monkey, right? Uh, but on the daily, if you have not noticed, I wear stylish things. Our heritage style is where I'm at. This right here, of course, is Thorgood. And, uh, and I'm wearing my Japan Blue Savage. But just kind of quick snippet before you leave my channel for other channels. Uh, not realizing that this channel is about stylish grease monkey. <laughs> It's just that I'm focusing on being a grease monkey right now because that is what I do, that is my passion. Looks like the weather doesn't want to cooperate, but whatever. We will work. Quick update. There's the motor. It's installed and waiting for the tranny and the transfer case. Speaking of that, the tranny and transfer case. Uh, let me show you the condition of it. And then... I'll give you an update when it's done. Guys, not a do-it-yourself channel, but what I'm doing here, I'm gonna rebuild this C4 tranny right here, and then re-gasket the Dana 20. Pretty much rebuild it, take it apart, check it, make sure it's good to go, and I hate leaks. That's the reason why I'm doing all of this stuff. So first, I'm gonna pressure wash that, and then we will re-gasket nice and clean, put it in there, protect it and then ready to go after spraying it with the pressure washer and degreaser that's what it looks like the reason why I clean it like this is because I wanna see what I'm doing of course it was covered in grease and now it's a little bit easier to get to where I need to go you know what I need to do with it without all of that grease but there's still grease that I'm gonna have to take off by uh, manually, by hand or whatever, steel brush, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, you can see the damage that I did a little bit on the cover right here when I was uh, using a saw saw on the body on the floors. It went through there, but nothing bled through, and uh, I have another cover on the other side. But I can fix this easily. Current situation with the transfer case, I. Guys, I am not rebuilding this thing. I am regasketing it, right? So I'm taking off things that needs to be regasket. Um, there's needle bearings here. If you don't know about uh, Dana 20, early Bronco Dana 20, there are a lot, lot of similarities with the CJ7 and International Scout. Not exactly the same, but still. I uh, love this transfer case because it is all steel gears inside. There's no like guessing that this thing is going to last forever uh, really good shape no metal shavings or anything broken tooth the only thing that's broken is this ear right here on the front um, retainer but i'm going to weld that back in and then we will be good to go even though i have dana other dana 20s uh, i like to fix things like that just to make sure and then new seals going back in there gaskets and seals all brand new so it doesn't leak it'll get painted and i'm done with that she frail is gonna come off so i can change the seals right there check this out guys i have my own pineapple you see it's ripe i'm gonna pick that today i planted it uh, from another pineapple that I bought from the store. That's why it didn't get big, but Pretty cool. It's gonna be sweet. And these bananas are dwarf bananas I'm waiting for it to flower an update to episode 19 uh, Which I'm focusing on the C4 transmission and the Dana 20 transfer case. I re I just regasketed the Dana 20 transfer case took it apart put it back together and then as you can see here, this is the C4 transmission, which is a cute little transmission, but high pressure, right? Uh, you gotta remember guys, some of these transmissions, the C4s were used for drag racing a while back. 
uh, back in the days uh, and uh, really good transmission and I'm glad that I I'm learning how to work on it and I'm taking it apart so anyways right now I'm gonna clean all of it and then put the new clutches you know all the parts that I bought to rebuild it and then put it back together and then soon it will be ready to get put back in the vehicle in the Bronco and then I'll put the body on top of the Bronco but for now this is the update right here the next one you'll see it'll be together and ready to go inside the Bronco alright guys the uh, C4 is together I uh, know it looks dirty and ugly but uh, I like the patina and this is a badass transmission so it's gonna run good uh, ready to put it in the car or the Bronco alright check this out episode 19 here um, got the transmission transfer case in now I'm working on getting all the accessories into the engine and then I'm gonna work on the exhaust and like I said the plumbing needs to get done and once that all is complete I'm gonna put this body back in here ready for paint once it's painted we are homebound almost to the finish line so stand by and uh, you should see it running here in about um, two three weeks that fast I'm excited I hope you're excited too episode 19 is uh, sorry guys I haven't taken much videos but check this out the exhaust is complete and uh, which means I'm moving on to um, plumbing this you know things that I don't want to do on the ground once the body's on and uh, so and that's what it looks like and uh, almost ready to put the body back on here so I can finish it and paint it the rims are getting painted the bumpers you know the work is continuing even though I'm not making a lot of videos of it but uh, anyways that's episode 19's update uh, I wanna kinda release that because the next time you see for episode 20 the body will be in all the accessories for the engine will be in um, that's it lots of work but it's getting done You know too if you've been watching my channel that I like uh, you know natural things. I like my fruits in my yard. Check that banana. It's big and it's about to be uh, ripe. Right next to that you can't see because of the leaves but there's another one coming. And then I have papayas everywhere. Oh yeah. Getting some patina on this black Thorgood. Oh yeah. That's how you do it. Make that work. <laughs>